Why America Banned the Toyota Sarah The story of the Toyota Sarah is an oddball's dream come true for the American auto industry. It was the epitome of a car from the 1990s that should have worked. Toyota was 20 years ahead of the curve in the US. When it introduced the city vehicle paradigm, and it had the potential to create a market that has since flourished. So what went wrong with the Sarah? Why did the Sarah malfunction, then? On both sides of the Pacific. There are opposing expectations and cultural conventions that determine the response to that question. A ban from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration was eventually requested for Toyota's modest little Sarah. Which on paper should have offered everything American urban drivers prize. Instead, it was subject to severe scrutiny. However, vehicles like the Sarah foresaw the future of American motoring whether they were legal or not. Toyota's Camry and Corolla were two of the ten best-selling vehicles in the United States a few decades after the Sarah was outlawed. Continue reading to learn how the market changed from the earlier to the later position. Right design, wrong time. Fundamentally, the Toyota Sarah was a K car that had been modified for the international market and given a decent performance reputation. The 1980s saw a rise in the popularity of K automobiles. Often known as, Kijidosha, or, light automobile, both in Japan and abroad. The contemporary city runabouts produced by companies like Hyundai and Kia had their origins in Japanese-made K automobiles. They were highly reliable, performed efficiently, had a small carbon impact. And got great gas mileage. In order to create the Sarah, Toyota combined components from the Paseo, Starlet, and Tercel, three of the company's best-selling vehicles at the time. The end product was a calm commuter with an exhibitionist streak. Swaying butterfly doors and a glass roof in addition to Toyota efficiency and first-rate gas mileage. The justification for marketing the Sara to American consumers was clear. American cities are big. American drivers enjoy their money. Why not provide them a vehicle that will meet their transportation needs and is priced to maximize their savings? The short explanation is that American driving has particular requirements, especially in cities, and traffic rules are created appropriately. According to Motor Biscuit, the Sarah's signature features, including as butterfly doors and a T-top roof, conflicted with American crash requirements. According to a Toyota Insider quoted by Motor Biscuit, creating a NHTSA-compliant Sarah would have amounted to starting over. Toyota was unwilling. And the Sarah quietly fell after a brief run in manufacturing. Since then, the Sarah has evolved into a might-have-been for American motorheads to mull over while K-cars, their Korean counterparts, and runabouts like the smart car have had their day in the sun. Toyota could have opened the American market for small, useful city cars 20 years earlier if it had strengthened the Sarah and increased its marketing efforts.